I have another Dollar Tree haul. Hey guys, so I am sharing a Dollar Tree haul with you guys and believe it or not, I got out of there with just two bags. I mean, how long has it been since I only spent, I think it was 34 items, so it was $36 and change? Amazing. And to top it off, this was a brand new Dollar Tree, so it wasn't overwhelmed, but I was able to get out of there with two bags stuffed. I mean, no matter what Dollar Tree you go to, you kind of, yeah, I think there's like a two bag limit at least. So I'm going to share with you guys what I got. It was actually a brand new Dollar Tree to me. I recently, the past Saturday, December night, I traveled like an hour away from my house. We went to a new like park, let the kids play for a couple hours. And then of course I had to do a quick search on Google and see if there was any Dollar Trees nearby before we headed home. And of course I found one. So I'm going to share what I got. Oh, here's my receipt right here. Total was $36.06. Pre-tax it was $34. So I got 34 things to share with you guys. All right, and these are going to be in no specific order at all. I'm just going to pull them out of the bag. So a first thing I picked up, I thought these just looked good and it has two of my favorite things. I am loving white chocolate lately uh, as a kid and like early adult, I did not like white chocolate, but like the past couple years, I've really been digging it. So I saw this, it is white chocolate coated cookies with coconut and cream filling. Another thing that I love, coconut. One of my all time favorites. So I wanted to pick these up and give them a try. They looked yummy. So we'll see how these taste. All right, this actually, everybody but my one, one of my twins, Pearl, everybody else wanted to stay in the car because I had the whole family with me. We are a family of six, but Pearl, really loves to shop as much as I do. So of course she came into the store with me. She saw these and my husband, Mark, her dad, absolutely is loving sour candy. And she was like, no mom, we have to give these to dad. We have to pick them up and give them to dad. So I let her put them in the cart and they are just lemon head candy canes. There are one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six in here. So these are totally for her dad. She picked them up for him. All right, another thing that I picked up that I thought my husband might like, he is recently, this past year, working from home. So he's here for a lot of like eating lunch time with us, eating lunch at lunch time with us and things like that. So I saw this and he really likes not only sour things, but spicy stuff as well. And this is the Suddenly Pasta Salad, which I've been eating on this for years. It's by Betty Crocker, um, but I've never seen this one before. It's Chipotle Ranch, so it has pasta, black beans, bi-colored pepper blend, and seasoning. So we'll see if he likes that. Okay, next up, I picked these out and I tried my hardest to hide them from Pearl since she was with me. It's really hard to do Christmas shopping when your kids are around, but she has no idea. She did not see them, so that's good. And I've already filmed and shared with you guys what is going in their stockings, um, but I'm totally gonna add these. So. These are going in their stockings as well. I have four kids, so I picked up two packs. Two candy canes come in each pack, and they have this little gummy uh, as well. And I just loved that the candy canes were twirled. Just a different take on the candy cane. So I thought these were super cute. The gummies that come with them is one has a Santa and one has a candy or a Christmas tree. And I was trying to see if it told me what the candy cane is flavored like but it doesn't say. And on the back, it just says artificial flavor. So no idea if it's like a fruit flavor or if it's peppermint or like cherry, no idea, but I thought they were really, really cute. I picked these up because they were super cute and there are four in here. I have four kids. These are not going in their stockings just because if I open them, they're going to be opened and not packaged up and they'll probably fall apart. So I'll just have these, give them to them one random day leading up to Christmas. But they are little gingerbread men and they are decorated with icing and some little candies. Not sure how these are going to taste, but I mean, is that super cute or what? I just thought that was adorable. All right, another thing that I picked up for my husband. I picked these up the last time I went to the Dollar Tree, but they did not have this one. And again, he loves spicy stuff. This is the Grown Up Mac and Cheese by Bear Creek and it is creamy chipotle. So got that for him. 
Apparently, I was hungry when I was shopping at the Dollar Tree because I got a lot of food stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have never purchased these for my family, but I've gone to Olive Garden quite a few times, at least once, twice a year, and you get these Andy's mints after you pay with your receipt. Um, and I saw them for sale at the Dollar Tree and I was like, what? So of course I had to pick myself up a bag. I'm pretty sure I have seen a Dollar Tree haul where somebody hauled these and they had like a cherry filling. So I think that would be interesting to find as well. But I did not see that at this one, just the original Andes cream mint bins. So I was excited to find these a non food item I actually saw these in line to check out it was a super long line so I was just like looking everywhere I'm surprised I didn't pick up more waiting to actually check out but I thought they were really pretty and I thought this was different so this is a five count by Met metallics and it has three ballpoint pens and two mechanical pencils so it's not just an all pencil or an all pen mix and not necessarily Christmas prints on there. They're just gold and silver, but they do, they do, they could be good for Christmas if that makes sense. So I thought they were really pretty. My daughter loves using mechanical pencils. So I think I'm going to give these to her as maybe one of her Advent days, set them out or we'll see, or just give them to her for school if she's running low. All right, I love picking up random things throughout the year and hiding them in my closet for rainy days or sometimes by the end of the year, if I still have a few things in there, I use them as stocking stuffers or smaller gifts, things like that, advent calendar items, which I kind of did this year. Um, I had a lot of little things, which is where most of the things for their stockings came from that I picked up previously. So I saw these and I knew I wanted to pick them up, just hide them in my closet for future use, but they are glow balls and they actually have like a jingle bell inside them. So it says, last for hours, three years and up, and it's just a ball, kind of like a glow stick. I'm assuming you squeeze it, or maybe it just glows as you bounce it. Not quite sure, it doesn't say on here. But I do have three younger ones. My oldest is not gonna care about a glow ball, so I did not pick one up for her. But this one is pink, and then I also got a blue one and an orange one. Okay, I'm not sure if there's more of these in the second bag or if they're all in this bag, but I picked up quite a few packets of seasoning mixes. Um, these three are all slow cooker ones and I got three different flavors. I've never used these before, but I thought they were interesting and I wanted to give them a try. So this first one is chicken tortilla soup. It is by McCormick. And on the back, it kind of gives you directions on everything you need to add to this spice packet. So I'll just read the back of one of these, otherwise it would take forever to read all of them. But on this one it says, you will need one packet of seasoning mix, which is right here, one and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast, two cups of frozen chopped bell pepper and onion blend, one quart or four cups of chicken stock, one 14 and a half ounce can of petite diced tomatoes, and then one cup of crushed tortilla chips or tortilla strips and then whatever toppings you like with your chicken tortilla soup. So I thought that was really cool. I guess you just put the, and it's like for your slow cooker. So you're kind of just prepping it, dumping it all in there, and then at the end of the day, you have a yummy meal and your house smells amazing. So I definitely was, this was on my wish list after seeing a ton of other people haul these, so I was glad to finally find them. So that's the first one. I also got the shepherd's pie and the slow cooker mix. And then I got the, which one is this? Tomato, basil, chicken, and vegetables. Oh, okay, so these other ones that I got are not slow cookers, they are oven roasted. So I got two of them, and let's see what this one says. Yeah, it's just the seasoning mix, olive oil, and then whatever vegetables you want to roast in your oven with this seasoning packet on it. So this one is for vegetable bruschetta. And then this one is for cauliflower. So you would put this on top of cauliflower and then roast it in your oven. And it's called Mediterranean cauliflower. So I thought, the, I mean, for a dollar, I think these are a really good deal because spices can get very expensive. And depending on what kind of spices you buy and how often you use them, the majority of mine do pass their expiration date before I use like the whole packet or the whole container. So these are an awesome deal for a dollar. All right, second bag. So I got some boxes. Um, my kiddos are getting some clothes for Christmas. 
Um, also, these are awesome for gift giving. They are small enough to mail off, put in another box and mail them. And I just thought they were really, really pretty. So I got this poinsettia one and it is a two pack. The other one in there is this really cute, very kid Christmas Santa, reindeer and penguin. And then I don't know what I'm going to use this box for, who I'm going to give it to yet, but I had to pick it up because it is so stinking cute, so pretty. I, oh, I mean, look at all those coffee cups, or you could call them hot chocolate mugs, tea mugs, whatever you want, but how cute are they? So since this is a two pack, the other one, and I wish it came with the same one. I mean, it's nice that it comes with different boxes, but I love this print so much. I wish there was two boxes of this in here. But the second one is just this really cute print of Christmas lights. All right, I picked up a packet of Christmas stickers. I have a big box full of just holiday and Christmas themed activities for my kids. I never go through the whole box every year, but I love having the box ready just throughout the month. And so I have things on hand for the next year. So the majority of the items in my box for this year, I bought last year. So as I see things, I'm gonna be stocking up for next year, if that makes sense. If you think that's silly, I'm really sorry, but I just love to be prepared. It's always good to be prepared when you have little kids. You never know if you are just have a headache and you need to pull something out so your kids have an activity to do. If you're trying to cook in the kitchen, I mean, who says they can't do a Christmas activity in the middle of the year? I don't know. I think that's totally fine. So I saw these stickers. I thought they were really cute. There are 20 on here and they're just little like snow globes with snowmen inside. We got some headbands. This was something that my daughter who came into the store with me wanted. <laughs> Again, I do have four kids, but I know my oldest is over this. She's over a lot of the little kid stuff. So there's only three here for my three younger ones. So these headbands are just super cute and they had a few other ones as well. These are just the snowman on there. And then this one is the Santa Claus head. And this one is a little bit more fancy and it is a reindeer. Speaking of crafts for my kiddos, we already did this craft this year. I actually vlogged it a little bit. I will find that vlog and put it up above and in the description box if you guys want to see it. Very easy, almost all the items came from the Dollar Tree, so a very cheap craft for your kids to do, especially when they have cousins over, which is what the vlog is. We had some family members over, but we did not have these angels. So when I saw them at the Dollar Tree, I picked them up because they come with a lot in here. There's 12 angels in here, little foam sheets. So I picked these up for us to do for next year. All right, I could have sworn I already picked up some tablecloths from the Dollar Tree. I do every single season, every holiday, because my kids do a lot of crafts here. Um, they love to get messy, work with their hands, and display their artwork all over the house. So I'm really surprised I didn't already have some. So when we had our cousins over, which I did vlog, um, we were just on the table with no tablecloth because I didn't have a Christmas themed one. So I picked up two. So next time we do a craft, the table will be very festive as well. So again, they had a ton of different options. I just picked up this red one with the snowman on it and then the blue one with Santa Claus. All right, so four kids, two of them are school age, two of them are still at home. They are not going to start school until the next school season, 2018 to 2019. So I'm constantly picking up things for the, my twins girls to do here at the house to keep them entertained and still, you know, prepping for kindergarten. So the Dollar Tree has a abundant stack of puzzles, like so many puzzles. So I did pick up two different ones that I'm going to toss in my closet for future use. I got a pack of Peppa Pig. It is a puzzle on the go, which is really awesome. It has a like resealable bag in here. So perfect for the car, especially if you take like a tray that the kids can sit with and put together the puzzle for road trips. So awesome. This is a 24 piece puzzle. So it says five and up, perfect for them. And then I got this Shimmer and Shine. Yes, I always forget their names. Shimmer and Shine, my girls are loving these right now. It is again, a 24 piece puzzle, five and up. And this is a tower puzzle. So not necessarily a square, but it's gonna be a more like rectangle shaped puzzle. Oh, here you go. On the back, it shows you what the puzzle is going to look like. So I am hiding these to just pull out for future use, maybe next year after Christmas. 
Okay, I got another little pack of boxes. These are smaller and I got these just for this one. Not sure if I'm going to use it this year or next year, but I thought it was super cute, especially if you wrap gifts early because it says don't open until December 25th. I thought that was adorable. And then this one is a two pack as well. And the other one is just this really pretty wreath and it says happy holidays. All right. I don't think I have use for this this year. I, I'm trying to go through like the gifts that we're giving our kids in my mind right now, but who knows if I'll need it next year, but I wanted to pick it up. I thought, you know, it's always good to have just really big oversized bags on hand. So I thought these were cute and it comes with, oh darn, I read the three and I thought it came with three bags, but it doesn't. It says three piece set. So it comes with one giant gift bag, one tag, and then one ribbon to tie it up with and attach the tag. But it is really big, 44 inches by 36 inches. Then I got these two bags. How cute are these? They are countdown bags. One of them is a snowman and then the other one is a penguin. Let me move the tag so you can see them. And they're, so the snowman's nose moves to count down the days until Christmas. And then the penguin is holding a candy cane that counts down the days until Christmas. I am not going to be using these as bags. I'm actually going to save these for next year. I'm going to cut off the front of this, frame it, and I'm going to hang it or set it out in my son's room and my twins because they share a room. I might go pick up another one for my oldest daughter. I think she would leave it in her room. It would be cute. And I'm just going to set it out so they have their own countdown and they can move the little nose each day. Um, they do have calendars in their rooms, but we don't always mark off the days. And I just thought this would be more fun for them. And I mean, they're so cute. It says days until Christmas. So that's my idea. I don't plan on using them as bags. A dollar is still great as like a little DIY. And I will definitely share that with you guys when I make them next year. You guys got a long time to wait, but I'm just going to pack them away. And that is my plan for these for next year. All right, that is it. That was my 34 items from the Dollar Tree. I feel like that was a very small haul. Now I do like to talk, so who knows how long this is going to be. I did try to be quick about it. Normally my Dollar Tree hauls are like 30 minutes plus because I buy a lot of stuff, but I'm glad that I went into this Dollar Tree. It was a new one. I did find some really cute things. So I'm gonna hide some of this stuff, put it up, um, hang up some of the stuff. You know what? That is not 34 things. I am missing two things. They must have fallen out in my car. I got two red, very glittery bells. They didn't have bells in them. They're just like the bell outline and I'm gonna hang them out on my front garage. I have two lights that go on either side of my garage, but that will be in a vlog if I can find them. I hope I'm not like missing a bag or anything. Was that 34 items? I'm gonna have to check real quick. I counted, that was 32 items. So 34 were those two bells. I almost thought I like left a bag or something. I was missing some stuff. So just those bells, but I'll share that on a vlog when I decorate with those. But if you guys love Dollar Tree hauls, give this video a big thumbs up. I hope you guys are having an awesome Christmas holiday so far. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. I am doing Vlogmas, so every single day is a vlog just of the random things that my family is getting into this holiday season. But I am posting extra videos as well, like this Dollar Tree haul. Anything extra I'm always going to share, just in case you don't like the vlogs. I still want you guys to get the things that you're liking out of this channel. So. Be back tomorrow with a new video. Bye guys.